Hello everybody, this is Rodrigo Diaz from Security Solutions Team. In this video, I will show you some methodologies that you can follow in case you have a synchronization issue happening within your ICE environment, as well as what you need to have for a successful communication among your ICE nodes. So let's begin. In terms of ICE replication, you have that in a distributed ICE environment, there is going to be always a primary node and secondary nodes. Those can be secondary of administration, MNT, or PSN nodes. When you initially register a node to a nice band node, what you are doing in the background is a full replication and synchronization with the node itself. When a configuration is changed on the PAN node, the replication process ensures that the secondary nodes receive the additions, modifications or deletions done on the PAN. You can review the status of the replication on the menu Administration System Deployment, where you can see the node status. A node marked as red indicates that the node is not synchronized. An orange status implies a synchronization in progress, and a green status means a node synchronized. Let's review the synchronization process in detail. As you can see in this example, the process is done in the menu Administration System Deployment. Then, you input the FQDN of the node standalone to join, alongside the admin credential for the GUI of that node. When you click on the button next, the following is happening on the background. In the step number one from this slide, the ice pan will perform DNS queries about the node to add. When this process is finished, the pan will start a handshake with the standalone. Following an exchange of communication using the information you entered earlier in the registration. When the steps from the previous slide are completed, in the dashboard of the PAN, you will be prompt to configure the roles for the standalone node. Select the roles and proceed to select Submit. After the configuration for the node is set, the PAN stores the information pertaining to the new node, and after a series of process that we can see in this slide, the replication starts and the information is shared from the PAN to the remaining nodes of the implementation. In case in which a PSN node is not synchronized with the PAN, that does not necessarily mean that all the authentication of that node will be dropped. If the PSN was synchronized in the past, the node will retain the copy of the configuration and continue to authenticate based on the previous configuration. If you have configured or changed rules on the PAN, this will not take effect until the replication is established again. To have a successful communication and replication of information on ICE, ensure that there are no devices interrupting the following ports. The first point that you need to verify while analyzing a synchronization problem is the status of the node affected. Issue the commands displayed. The following components have to be enabled in debug. Please notice here the corresponding log file where the components are related. In the CLI of the node not synchronized with the PAN, you can run the following command to review the information in real time. Another thing to consider are packet captures. Enable a packet capture from the PAN node pointing to the node with the synchronization problem as it is displayed. Leave the problem reproducing for a period and then proceed to download the capture. As discussed previously in this video, the following are points that needs to be considered while troubleshooting. Review of the DNS communication and lookup resolution. If the node is not being registered correctly, verify first the DNS query that the PAN does to allocate the PSN node. Review the DLS communications in ports 443 and 12001. If there are fatal errors or errors related to the certificates, the devices will not be in a synchro status. Review that the port 12001 does not have retransmissions. If the PSN is not receiving communication while the problem ongoing related to replication and the PAN is attempting to communicate with it, we will see retransmissions in the port. 
In any case, what you can try is to attempt a manual synchronization on the node by clicking in the button displayed in the dashboard. Notice that this procedure will make the PSA node restart its services. Other option will consist in the, the registration, registration of the node back to the deployment. From the pan, select the node with the problem and proceed to the register it. Then, from the node affected, apply the command application reset config eyes. Wait for the command to take effect and when the serviceability of the node is back, proceed to register it again to the deployment. In case you need further assistance, please contact Tag Support. Thanks for the time you took to watch this video.